11 months of a lost in conflict that seems to be ceaseless. Up to the moment, the first major attempt for a ceasefire has failed. The Russian president ordered his troops to stop fighting for a 36-hour truce in the front line for the Orthodox Christmas holiday. The request was made by Patriarch Kirill to allow believers to attend church services. However, until Russia withdraws all its forces from Ukraine, Kiev is not willing to accept Putin's offer for a ceasefire. They now want to use Christmas as a cover in order to stop the advances of our boys in Donbas and bring equipment, ammunition and mobilized troops closer to our positions. What will that give them? Only yet another increase in their total losses. But in the Turkish capital, there are some other positive signs. Turkey is still making efforts for a mediation to reduce tensions between the two warring sides. I had a talk with Mr. Putin this morning. We discussed the Russia-Ukraine war in detail. In addition, we talked about what we can do in the region. Earlier, President Putin sent a frigate to the Atlantic Ocean armed with a new generation hypersonic cruise missiles, sending signs to NATO not to underestimate Russia's ambitions in Ukraine. Russians are working hard to acquire more ammunition, more material and above all, we have no indication that President Putin has changed his plans and goals in Ukraine. So it's dangerous to underestimate Russia. So det er farlig å undervurdere Russland. On the other side of Ukraine, Russia and Belarus have beefed up joint military exercises. Kiev warns Moscow wants to open a major northern new front line in the war.